Hey everyone, how's it going? Sam here. In this video, I want to create something inside of Spline under one hour for my landing page. I've never used Spline before, and by trade, I am a developer. So let's see how this goes. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's gonna be fun. Let's check it out. So as I said, I had never actually used Spline before. Um, I've only installed it and played around with it. And I found it super intuitive and really fun to use actually. I thought I had to start from scratch, like make my own glass material. Um, so I went on YouTube. Eventually I found out that they have already made it as a preset material, so I used that. And then I got to creating. So just a few basic shapes, you know, nothing crazy. Playing around with gradients, making it look nice. Uh, or trying to make it look nice at least um, and yeah just getting the look and feel of the button basically as well as adding text um, and after that I tried trying to find a good font but then I was playing mostly with the states and transitions and that's where the real important stuff was starting to happen and where I sort of discovered how powerful um, Spline was and I think I um, found a little niche, a usability niche. Uh, so here I've got this toggle button. I just want it to go down when you click on it and then pop up when the sound finishes playing. But I was looking online, there's a few videos on how to use state, but not too many. And I just found it super serious, um, super easy to use. So if that's useful, do uh, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I basically um, listened for the click state on the button. And uh, if that happened, I would transition into one state which is like the depressed um, state. So the buttons would go in, it would then play a sound as well. And then after X amount of seconds, the button would go back to its base state, so it would come back up. So the, the coming back up had to use a bit of, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's called uh, like transition logic or custom logic to come up, but it wasn't super complicated. Um, but I think I could do a tutorial on it. And uh, yeah, just show how I did it. And eventually I just duplicated it, play around, played around with the materials, made some more gradients, and I just tried to make it look nice. Um, and then it was seeing how it performed in the web. I also tested it on mobile, and it worked as well. The sound even worked, which is great. Um, so yeah, Spine, really, really good. And um, next up is integrating this model inside of the landing page. So this isn't the uh, implementation onto the landing page, but I just wanted to show you what Spline allows you to, to do. Um, so when you export it, uh, it shows you how it's gonna look in the web page, and you have a few settings. I'm gonna disable the camera because I sort of like this angle, and I just want it to stay like that. Um, maybe I'll add some mouse tracking, but for now, uh, you can hover on the buttons, they work fine, and you can press them, the sound plays, and then the buttons go back up. Um, and it can even play, and then you can like hover out of it and it still works fine. Um, so yeah, that's really good. So that's it for this video. Uh, I wanted to keep it short. In the next one, I'll probably be integrating it into the landing page and seeing how that goes. See you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Cheers.